do not be sleeping on Silver Tempest. Today we are talking about Silver Tempest. It is the last Sword and Shield set. As you guys can see, that is still in stock on Pokemon Center. You can still pick this up for MSRP. It's the last one. It's the only one. And you guys are going to be kicking yourselves, I promise, once this sells out. 143.64 on the Pokemon Center. The only unfortunate part about that is they do limit uh, to a purchase of four, so you cannot get a sealed case from Pokemon Center anymore. That is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Their shipping is a little sus, too, and we've been seeing some boxes be damaged, uh, you know, in shipping a little bit. They don't properly ship them, so just keep that in mind. At least you're not going to want to order just one. If you can get the four, you'll have a better chance. But this set is still, I think, a little bit underrated. It's a little bit undervalued, and it's not the toughest set, but we're going to talk about uh, what's going on with the boxes, with the singles, everything right now. So here's the chart, TCG player, if you guys want to check it out. Um, it's up, you know, on the three-month quite a bit, seeing a tiny bit of a downturn, still at that, one, like, 166 range. But once again, you can get this for 143 currently on, on Pokemon Center. So on eBay, you know, it's one last sold. This was the last sold 160 free shipping. So uh, even that's that's not a bad deal, but I'd be hitting up Pokemon Center and I'd be risking it with the potential damage. I mean, that's what I would do personally. But when we start to look at the singles here, right? The, obviously, the chase card, the Lugia, is amazing. Great looking card. And you get in the Unknown's okay and the, and the Reggie's okay. But you start to look and there's not really a whole lot here when you look at this, but what this is not showing is the trainer gallery and what happens a lot with these sets too and you guys know it is they get dunked on they get dunked on fusion strike used to get dunked on right they get dunked on as not being good sets until the prices are up because people will chase the money and that's going to happen once it goes out of stock and it might lag behind all the other boxes right let's just take a deep dive like check out what's happening right now with the lugia it's you know, it was at 227 and it's now down to 206. It might dip down below 200. Okay. Same thing with the unknown. You got this big run up right here to 31 and now it's all the way down to 22. I mean, it used to be $13, $14 card. But either this is going to continue to drop or once this sells out, we're going to see another uptick. So what this could mean and could symbolize is that this is a really great time to be picking up these cards. They're down from their highs, so you're not going to get burnt from their highs. If you look on the one year, like one year was 25. We're below the last one year, so it, it could be a really great pickup point for some of these cards. Let's double back to the Lugia for a second and check out the one year. The Lugia is a little different for the one year. It was 155, but still, I'd probably wait for that Lugia to dip below 200 personally. But um, then the Reggie, I probably would stay away from personally, but the Lugia in the background you know, um, you never know, right? I mean, obviously, I think that's why this card's doing well, personally. But also, when you start to look at the uh, the trainer gallery cards need to be included. I don't know why, when you look on TCG Player, it doesn't show the trainer galleries. It really, really bothers me that it does that because it when you come back over here, it makes the set look really weak because you go from you got your big $200 card and then you got some 20s and then nothing, right? It's, it just falls off like the face. But if you include these trainer galleries, you're at 43. And well, it's pretty much just the Ray. But these other cards, there's a lot There's a lot more that it does add. And I do think it, by being a weaker trainer gallery, I still stand by that it is undervalued. And But what I wanted to focus on are these these first three cards here. The, Rayqu the Rayquaza VMAX, right? Because this is a stunning looking card. And the run-up, you know, it was at $52 down to, you know, like 44 right now. And if we pull up the one year, it's still obviously well above the one year. But it might be time to move into some of these like this. And then this Blaziken obviously had a massive run-up because this is a cool card. It's a great uh, trainer gallery. Absolutely awesome giant Blaziken with the trainer hanging on. Like it's just, it's too good of a card you know starter pokemon right but this card fell off has fallen off quite a bit from twenty dollars down to 1336 so i think and you know it's still well above its well not well above but a decent chunk around above its one year high but falling off of this this high point right here i mean 
we might want to wait a little longer kind of into more of the summer months things probably will might sizzle off a little and so just keep an eye on these cards for continues or if they kind of level out that might indicate time to jump on these right i think that this is a this is going to be a good time to pick up some of these cards and i stand by that and then you know you got the lesser card here and it's on its downturn right now it's not that much cheaper it's a few bucks cheaper than what it was this blaze it can be which once again uh i think something to consider is like i'm gonna use this as an example in one of my most recent videos we talked about sequential certs for psa you know if, if it's not your thing it's not your thing but you know you get this card and this card in sequential tens you know that could be a thing these are affordable right pick up a few copies um so yeah i think that uh that it might be time to start looking at these. I'm not saying like you have to jump on it right away, but keep an eye on them is what my advice would be for for these cards. I think that there's there's room and it's time to start. And obviously, I think it's definitely time to be picking up the boxes because this is like the last this is the last leg for Sword and Shield for in stock on Pokemon Center. Not that there still can't be some stuff that happens, but I don't. I think they're. I don't think anything from Sword and Shield is going to get reprinted, so I would be. I'd be really shocked, but it is possible. So keep that in mind. But I think no brainer if you can get Silver Tempest cases, Silver Tempest boxes, and then be picking up a few of these singles at these price points, or watching them, seeing how further, much further they fall. It's hard to always time the bottoms because you never know. But this this could stair step up once this sells out. So all these cards could move once they go out of stock on Pokemon Center. So just saying, keep that in mind. Don't sleep on Silver Tempest. It's not as bad as you guys think. I think it's still a pretty good set with a great chase. So keep that in mind. That's going to do it for this one, guys. I appreciate you watching. Um, let me know in the comments below if you're picking up any of these cards or any of these boxes. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. And remember, it was never phase.